Judging by the condition of this thing, it's had a lot of use. Dyson is a household name for sure, and for quite a while, I used to believe that they weren't worth the money. You know that old saying, you pay for the brand name? That's what I genuinely believed until I purchased this stick back. And I'm not kidding when I tell you, this changed my life. I haven't spoken about it much on YouTube, but you've no doubt seen the issues with my skin. I have chronic eczema and a severe dust allergy, and I really needed to upgrade our vacuum. We had an old LG A9 model. I'm not sure what it was, but it wore down over time, just like vacuums do. And I needed something that was going to collect dust and dirt and help with my allergies. So we spent our dollars on this. The Dyson Gen 5 Detect Absolute is a stick vac with insane amounts of power. I like to call this the magic wand because it cleans so much dust and dirt that your human eye cannot see. With an RPM of 135,000, it's rated Dyson's most powerful HEPA cordless vacuum. It traps minute dust particles that your eyes cannot see, and it provides a full clean, leaving your surfaces spick and span. There are three modes with auto, eco, and boost. And as you turn it on, it will naturally go to the auto mode, but if it needs a bit more power for a dirtier surface, it'll flick up to the boost mode, giving itself a bit more suction power. It's built with Dyson's fluffy optic cleaner head, which has a green LED light built in that shines on all the hidden dust and dirt on your floors. And this head is washable too, which I strongly recommend doing on a regular basis. Otherwise it'll look pretty gross, guilty. This light honestly makes the world of difference on both light floors and dark floors, which I have both in my house. It shows all specks of dust and will make you feel like your house is filthy. <laughs> but it does a great job of angling itself towards corners and edges so you can get right up there and suck up that dust. Because again, your eyes don't see that. That's where this light comes into play. This head is great for hard floors as it's nice and fluffy and soft so it won't scratch. It moves seamlessly over surfaces and is one of my favorite features about the vacuum. On top of that, you also get the digital motor bar cleaner head, which works great on soft floors and your carpets. It also has a detangling feature, which is great for hair. And I lose a lot of my hair and have broken vacuums in the past because of it. <laughs> so this is very well worth it for me. Then you've got a built-in crevice tool and I love the way this has been designed with it built inside the pole. It's so smart and it takes minimal effort to just take the pole off and pull that crevice tool out. It has the bristle head extension on it too, which is great because you can flick between the two. Having so many extra accessories can get really annoying with vacuums. So this design choice is a huge win to me. I think it is great. Speaking of separate accessories, there is also a hair screw tool which works well with pet hair. And I use this on the beds and couches too. Oh, and there's another combination tool which they say is good for carts. Storing the vacuum is simple. Dyson have their wall mounting system, which is pretty common with all of their stick backs. But when we bought this, we were renting and we weren't allowed to mount it to the wall. So we got this easy mount stand, which I think is fantastic. It was made for this model and it stores all the extra heads too, which I really like. Battery life is one thing that's always put me off the Dysons. And that's why I loved my previous LG because it had two batteries and you can always have one charging. So when that battery you're using went flat, you've got one ready to go to continue cleaning in one go. There's no needing to wait for your battery to charge. However, this specific model has one of the biggest battery capacities that I have seen on a Dyson model, and it has up to 70 minutes of runtime. But of course, given that it has three different modes and can automatically kick up to boost mode, I don't get anywhere near this amount. In fact, up to 70 minutes is for the eco mode on hard floors, and I don't actually use the eco mode. I almost exclusively use the auto mode so it can change between boost and standard if it needs to. When you exclusively use boost mode, you get less than 10 minutes. That's how much power and suction this thing has. And that's very small, but I don't know when you would only use boost mode. That doesn't make sense to me. Just here to say, we actually had this off charge overnight. So the timings that you just saw on the screen are about 10 minutes less than what I actually tell you. And this is because it wasn't on charge. Auto mode gives you around 40 minutes, which depending on how big of a clean you're doing, I don't think that's a bad thing. It can get me almost a full house clean. My house is five bedroom, three living spaces, so it's a decent size. But when we're not using this, we usually chuck it on our stand, which has the charger plugged in anyway. So it's always got battery. However, I would like to see Dyson incorporate the dual battery situation. I like that idea. And I do think this is the best stick back that I have ever used, but battery life can always be improved no matter what it is. I mentioned earlier that it collects the smallest minute bits of dust and dirt. In fact, the HEPA filter collects 99.99% of particles as small as 0.1 microns. That's tiny. The screen on top of the vacuum scores your cleaning sessions 
showing you how many hundreds of thousands or even millions of micron particles it collects, it actually feels like a game. As you clean, you naturally want to see what your high score is going to be, but in fact, you'd want the opposite because a higher number means more particles and that's not good for anyone. But on the flip side, it does show that it's actually collecting and sucking up dust. A high number is proof that this vacuum is actually doing what it says it should. You just need to look at a tank after you clean a surface that looks clean to you to see that it really is collecting like it says it does. This is insane. This is actually insane. I quite often use this vacuum daily with some spot vacuuming throughout the week if needed. I'll then do a deep clean at the end of the week just to give it one big refresh. It's really important for my allergies to keep on top of cleaning and it's so easy for me to do that because of how well that LED light works on the fluffy optic head because I am seeing literally everything across the floor and my surfaces that my eyes can't see. And not to mention, it doesn't have a trigger. This one is one press of a button and your vacuum is on. You don't need to hold a button down to power it, which for carpal tunnel sufferers, that is honestly a huge win. Yes, I know my body is problematic. <laughs> it's quite lightweight, weighing in at three and a half kilos and has a bin capacity of 770 mils. I'll leave some other specs on the screen so you can get a gist of its size but as big as it is, it feels really comfortable in the hand when you're using it. There is also a Gen 5 Detect outsize model, which has a bigger bin, but I'm honestly quite happy with the size of this one. We empty the tank quite often as it fills up, so I don't really think you need the bigger one for your home unless you know, you've got a huge home or you don't want to empty it as much. However, emptying it is very convenient as it's just a lever that gets pulled down and the bottom of the bin will open and let everything out. But be sure to open it over a bin so you don't make any mess. So time for the price, and it's a big price. This retails for an RRP of $1,549 AUD. It's expensive, but it's for a good reason. It's a hefty price to pay for a vacuum, but the seven months that I've had it, I can see why. It just works so well. But I did pick this up on sale. It came down to $9.99 at the time. And I do know that places like JB Hi-Fi and The Good Guys quite often reduce it to that price. So it's definitely worth grabbing if you see it at that price point. If you can score it for a better deal, I honestly believe you will love it as much as I do. It has made vacuuming and cleaning so much easier. You only need to go over a spot once and it's done. Whereas other vacuums I've used in the past takes a couple of goes to collect everything. I'm honestly now convinced that Dyson do have some amazing home tech. I've been converted. I now have their hair dryer and I also have their Corral hair straightener, although I don't recommend that. That is off for a warranty repair. That's a story for another time. The seven months that I have had this thing, it's worked so well. The only thing I will say is we've kind of beaten it up a little bit. This pole feels really weak and it's dented and scratched from going under cabinets and surfaces, but that's a cosmetic issue. I've had no issues with the battery, no issues with the suction power reducing. Everything still worked as it has since the day we got it. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have about this vacuum in the comments. So do leave them down below after you hit that subscribe button. I'm going to go clean, so I'll catch you in the next video.